Hello people and welcome to my newest tutorial about Java and Swing. And in this very new tutorial I'll show you how to use JToolbar component. And by its characteristics JToolbar is a container component similar to JPanel. But of course there are some differences between of them like default layout or some other behavior. So let's start with coding in my newest class which is called JToolbar Tutorial. And I'll start from creating of my graphical user interface. Also I'll create, beside JFrame I'll create a single J text field and two J buttons. Example name of first button will be btn add and text will be like add. Name of second button will be like btn delete and text will be delete. Now I'm going to create my tree toolbar. Toolbar and that's Actually it, that's all you need to create. Now I'll add these components, these three components to my toolbar. By simply calling add method add method and passing these components. Okay, now I am going to add my toolbar on JFrame on north of my JFrame actually. You will also see that uh, use of uh, border layout is crucial uh, for efficient use of JToolbar itself. Okay, let's say north, and now let's call set default cause operation, dispose of cause, pack method, and set visible method. Okay, now let's run our application to see what we have. And as you can see, here it is on north of our J3. But also nice feature of J toolbar is that you can drag it from one side to another, uh, which is efficiently achieved by use of uh, border layout. Okay, as you can see I can drag it on different sides of my J3. But it also J toolbar can appear in standalone dialog if you drag it, uh, for instance, in center of your J frame or outside of your J frame. And if you click this close button, it will reappear on on its last position. Here it is. But also you can uh, disable this feature by calling set floatable method and setting that to false. And I'll show you that in a moment. Set floatable. And as you can see I can't drag my J toolbar anymore. Also when it comes to layouts, default don't forget the default layout for J toolbar is a uh, box layout and you will notice that by when you stretch your J frame uh, J text field will increase its width. Also next feature I would like to show you is how to increase gaps between of your uh, buttons or text field and buttons by adding so-called separators. 
and it's also very simple you'll just call add separator method between of two components you want to separate and as you can see gap between my add button and delete button is now increased so that should be actually it when it comes to jtoolbar so very simple and very useful component see you in my next tutorial bye everyone